<sighs> okay, let's try the next one. Oh no. Hey everybody, it's Snapper. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something pretty important. Especially with original guns. Now, I tell everybody this all the time. I personally take the nipples out of my firearms when I clean them and I actually will store them in a little baggie like this but this ain't that these are brand new set of Colt nipples for my 49 pocket and the reason I say to do this is this gun the nipples on the cylinder are stuck they're probably not gonna come out I made myself a really strong nipple wrench uh, out of an old socket it's nice having a lathe and a mill and I could hook it up to this and I even have an impact ready as well. But most likely, I'm going to end up having to drill these out. So that's why I'm telling you, you know, take them out. It's just not worth getting them stuck, especially if you shoot the gun, because these nipples are bad, but they're stuck. So they have to come out. The, uh, the hole, the touch hole through the, the nipple is grown in size over the years. Uh, I guess flame erosion and they're way too big and the guns these original colts have crazy strong springs the hammer springs and when it can blow that back you know there's there's a lot of pressure there i'm gonna take you guys along on this journey so wish me luck i'm praying they come out without having to drill it but deep down i know that most likely maybe one or two might come out but the rest are gonna be driven or drilled out because just that's how it goes. That's how it's always gone. All right, guys. I'll let you guys know when I get a little bit further along and give you an update. Well, everybody, it's just as I said. I actually got none of them out. None of them would budge at all. So they're going to have to be drilled out. This is terrifying, but I have my little lathe mill set up here that I have at my house a small one that uh that i do a lot of gun smithing on and what i'll do is, is i'll actually you know i can do this per with a lot of precision at least now so it's not as frightening but it's still i don't like doing it so but yeah, i will bring you guys back when i get one of them out well, I wanted to show you guys the progress so far. It's very slow going. It's actually been over an hour. And all I really done so far was drill them out just a little bit smaller than the diameter of the threads. And what's perfect is, is we never touch the threads on any of them. That's, that's what you want. And on this one so far, I put an end mill in and basically been slowly going down and driving it around, getting rid of the head. Because after I did that, I put one of these little easy outs in like you'd use for a screw, right? In here. And tried it. Nah, it, it didn't budge at all. So, now the only thing that's left in this one is the part that's covering the threads. But you see it's very small. I'll, uh, what I'll probably end up doing is, is having to load a small, really small end mill. And lightly drive it over just a little bit and then try to knock it out and then... You know, it, th this takes a long time. If you had to pay a shop to do this, this is, because this one is not gonna come out. You have to cut every single bit of it out. You're not gonna be able to, it's just not coming out. It doesn't wanna budge, it doesn't wanna move. But the nice thing is, is like when I am walking this end mill down into it, you will know when you got the head cut off because you'll start seeing rust come up. So then that's when you stop and as you notice, I didn't even cut into the surface, the bottom surface. And that, that's what you want take time this is nerve-wracking because you know I, I want this thing to be perfect and if something happens you know if a drill walks off ruins that hole you, there's a lot of work to have to fix this and this is the original cylinder I mean it's in beautiful shape I don't want to ruin it and I don't want to have to buy another cylinder just because somebody left the nipples in and never took them out so take 
your nipples out and clean them, guys. It's so important. It is unbelievably important. All right, guys. Bye. I'll come back when I, uh, I get a little bit further along. You're gonna like look for a little bit of rust come up and then you know you made it. Right about there. You see a lot of rust coming up? Red rust? Back it out. Take a look, alright? I made it to the bottom it looks like, but I gotta walk it around a little bit to cut the rest of the top off. There you go, saw it. There's the entire top of the nipple off now. I'm on my very last uh, nipple drilling out right now. Now this one, no pun, but it's a really hard nipple. Um, matter of fact, I three drills it take it took to drill through it, and the other end mill I was using before it actually stripped it out. So I put in this carbide end mill. But you gotta realize, just technically, I mean, a, an end mill is like 40, 50 bucks. These carbide ones are like 70, 80 bucks. And if I break one of those, I mean, this is an expensive job so far. I probably have close to $100 just in drills and end mills that have been ruined just getting to where I am now. Alright, guys, well, old Snapper lost his uh, ability to want to do anything else for the more for the day. But so far, the head's off of them and they've been drilled out. Now you can still see that they're still partial in the hole, in the threads. So there's still a little bit more that has to be drilled out. I'm going to try to use a punch and play around and see if I can figure a way to get these out. But, like I said, I've been doing this for a while. I know what's probably going to end up having to happen is drill it tap size and just retap the hole and that's all you can do. I had to do this on my 51 Navy, two of them in the past, so. All right guys, take care and again, take your nipples out.